through southern Cambodia and into the China Sea flows the Kampung Smach River system. Between the Vietnam and Thai borders, the river flows from the Cardamon mountain range through lush tropical rainforests, jungle, rice fields, and mangrove forests before mixing with the sea. Much of the mangrove forests in coastal Southeast Asia have been lost to human use, including rice fields, shrimp farms, and extraction for wood and fish. The lush, low-lying river delta of the Kampong Shmach River was once dense with mangrove forests. A section of the southern coast of Cambodia called Prey Nup remains intact, with some of the highest diversity of old-growth mangrove trees and wildlife in Southeast Asia. Mangrove ecosystems are made up of 40 to 50 plant species, including trees, palms, vines, and epiphytes. However, in the last century, more than 50% of global mangrove ecosystems have been lost. Protecting Cambodia's remaining mangrove forests is critical. The Prey Nut Mangrove Conservation Project is working to protect and restore the great diversity of mangrove trees, birds, and other animals of this region. Yeah. My name is Jos Thiers. I'm working in Cambodia since 91 first for a humanitarian organization uh, and then since 95 we started up our business in transport and logistics here in Cambodia which we are still running now. My name uh, is Rob Overtom. I uh, am a physician. I've been working in Cambodia since 91. Jos I know already and Narit also since 91 so we are good buddies. Um, my role in the project is um, especially liaison with universities, uh, facilitate research, uh, contact with NGOs, uh, start up the information and training center and then also the, 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 the liaison with the, the Ministry of Education. The beauty of the Prynop mangroves at, that is still so biodiverse uh, there is, there is old growth that is quite untouched because of isolation and yeah, in total uh, there are, there are uh, several species that were not expected there. There is still a very nice wildlife available there. Mangrove forests have other significant ecosystem services, such as buffering the impacts of severe storms and tsunamis, filtering pollutants to protect seagrasses and corals, providing a critical food source for local communities, and sequestering carbon to offset impacts of climate change. Currently, the project is protecting over 2,000 hectares of mangrove forest and is actively adding more area to the reserve. Mangrove forests are considered sustainable or multiple use zones by the government, but this project is seeking a full protection for as much of the area as possible. To support the project, some subsistence use would be allowed in parts of this area. Ecotourism will help support rangers to oversee the restoration and protection of prey nut mangroves. Half of Cambodia's mangrove forests are protected in some manner the greatest protection in all of Southeast Asia. Yet, despite protected status, ever-growing threats to extract and develop in these forests continue. Active conservation and restoration are needed. Yeah. Mangrove forests in Cambodia, like Prey Nup, are vital for the economic and ecological health of this region. The Prey Nup Mangrove Conservation Project is actively protecting one of the most pristine and biodiverse mangrove forests in Cambodia.